Do you think Olimar and Louis have, like, different versions of Pikmin brand items? Like, you got the Piklopedia up there, like, do you think there's anything else that has Pick in front of it? See, he, uh, he has Piklopedia. He has the Pikia. Or, like, Wikipiklia. That almost didn't work, and it also sounded like a horrible disease. Or like an actual 25-volume Encyclopedia. <laughs> you know, hey, Olimar, can you chip me off a block of ice there? Yeah, let me just get my ice pick pick. I kind of fear for the Pikmin marketability. Like, when Olimar's all done with this mission and, you know, the president's paid off, the president starts thinking with, like, dollar signs in his eyes. He's like, yes, what if we take all of these Pikmin and we advertise them and sell them? Well, I'm thinking uh, he could just put on a table and put all these coffee mugs all in a row. And now, Olimar has made a pickup line. <laughs> or, uh, you know, maybe he goes for his uh, brand new medication, only available through Olimar's company, uh, Pictamin. <laughs> or maybe a brand new breakfast cereal, uh, Pictamin Toast Crunch. <laughs> Olimar's kids are going to grow up in the TikTok era of, you know, Planet Hokotate or Hokotate, whatever you want to pronounce it. You know, his, his daughter comes up with her brand new cell phone. He's like, Dad, watch me take a pic pic of myself. They take a cucumber and put it in some salt water for a while. Oh. It's a pickle. Oh, can you imagine, like, a pickle Pikmin? Oh. I don't even want to think of what that would look like, but if any artists out there want to... Want to Everything see. is squishy. <laughs> uh, I can't stand up. Uh, it turns out the pickle Pikmin are just ma geniuses with humongous brains, and, you know, they inserted their Pikmin self into these pickles. Funniest shit I've ever seen, honestly. You know, maybe when the Pikmin are old and wary and, you know, they hit up a bar, you know, they're just old and grizzled. And they see this young douchebag Pikmin just going around, you know, trying to hit up all the ladies. He's like, dude, don't be a pick prick. What do you think that toxic gas smells like? Rotting raspberries. Ugh. I... no. I don't even want to think about that. Or... Because there are fruits in the Pikmin universe. Like, think... Cranberries... Honey... Whiskey... Blech. And... Garlic. <laughs> you can make a mean moonshine out of that. Emphasis on mean. Yeah, more like Pikmin shine. <laughs> me, me, <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Pikmin vomit juice, no matter what. <laughs> the Pik barf bag. <laughs> you know what? Just do the Disney thing, and it's like if if you can sell it, there will be a Pikmin visage on it. It's so easy, man. 
Oh yeah, yeah, Pikmin vomit. You put it in your coffee like stevia. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> or you know there's coffee that's made out of like the dung of elephants or something like that. So it's like, oh yeah, it's shit coffee, but it's like Pikmin barf. And then someone tastes that and they just go, you know? <laughs> I meant it as a joke, but now now that I've tried it, it's not that bad. It's like that wine they make out of poop in Korea. <laughs> so gross. Oh, hello, sunshine! Ah. Good night, sunshine! Oh my god. Where do you god. think those little ghosties go to when we kill things? Do you think there's a Pikmin afterlife? Is there an afterlife, or do they just hang in purgatory forever because there's no actual established pantheon for this planet? Oh man, Pikmin purgatory. Where they're constantly being berated by the monsters they've killed. Like there's yellow wallywogs up there in the... in Pikmin hell. Pikel. Oh, hey, that's what the white Pikmin dug up. Oh. There's a little, little, little onion here. What do you think the ruler of Pikmin Hell is named? Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, 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 shit. D uh. Pikmin Fistopheles. <laughs> Again, if you can fit the Pikmin name on it, you can sell it. Pixtopheles. <laughs> New from the creators of Pictamin and Pictamin Toast Crunch. New Pikmin socks. Pick Cheerios. <laughs> hmm. And whenever you crunch down on the cereal, it makes a Pikmin noise. Oh. oh, I hate these little bugs. These are so disgusting. So these things eat the berries before you can even get to them. But when you take it back to the onion to be harvested, it's still moving. Ah. No, 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 put me down, put me down, no, 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 ah! I'm sorry, you tried to eat my fruit. You will not survive, bug. I wasn't gonna eat it, I was gonna live in it! I'm sorry, this is just how it's going to be. Goodbye, bug. We're actually doing a pretty good job at clearing out everything. Uh, we can't get to that treasure yet, so, uh... I guess we'll just clear out the rest of the... Uh, or as much as the... of this map as we can. And, uh, thankfully for picking up the second half of the world, uh, we'll actually be able to move on to a new area. And, you know, if we ever have to refer to it again, we'll just look at our top Pikminographical map. I don't know where I was going with that. You almost had it. Ah, geographic projection. Maybe geography is not your strong suit. Try geology. You can look up pick minerals. There are rock Pikmin. I'm trying to think, like, have we done that before? Because we did a whole bunch of pick jokes in the first series. Did we? I think we did. It feels like a million years ago. By the way, 30% of the debt recovered. Yay. Amazing. I give you a round of pick applause. <laughs> we are Pikminantially sound. <laughs> Bro, if you need Pikmin Let's Players, we're your number one pick, okay? Oh, 
I think I've run out of Pikmin stuff. What MOBA do you think these little guys play? Oh, uh, 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 uh Genshin Impic Pact. I don't know. Apex Legends. Ooh, that one's good. You know what? I would probably test out Apex Legends if it had Pikmin in it. The Pikmin are so underused in Nintendo's repertoire. Like, I think the last time I've seen a Pikmin, besides in a the actual Pikmin 3, was transferring Wii data over to the Wii U. And that's sad, because I love these little guys. They used to have their own game, now they're delegated to custodial work. <sighs> As is with most Nintendo mascots that aren't your Mario or your Zelda. Sad, really. You know, I bet you Miyamoto thought that Pikmin was gonna move a whole lot of GameCube units. Like, this is gonna be the game, man! Everybody's gonna wanna pick up a GameCube to play Pikmin! Cause look! There's so many things! It's like so cool! But it didn't sell, like, that great. It sold enough to warrant a sequel. So, you know, that's pretty good. I don't think it was the killer app that Miyamoto thought it would be. You know, Miyamoto kind of had to do a roll of the dice to figure out if it would work or not. <laughs> ah, whether that was funny or not was left to chance. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I really have some snake eyes when it comes to that didn't work. <laughs> it was quite a gamble. This Pikmin project was. You know what, Niskel? Your jokes are like several piles of shit. They're craps. Ah, <laughs> uh, do you want to go to a 7-Eleven later? <laughs> sure, I'd love to. I mean, I <laughs> I was just thinking of rolling a 7 or an 11, and it didn't quite work. You know, now that I think about it, Pikmin was actually in a bit of advertising. I can only show that, because the g advertising is actually in-game. And, uh, I'll be sure to show it off, but we need to have at least 20 of every Pikmin for me to show that off, so... As soon as we get to that point, I'll be sure to mention that again. Okay, we have a second type of potion here. You have created cough medicine, the ultra, ultra bitter, bitter spray. spray. I believe it will be highly effective. You can use this one on enemies. But what does it do? We'll have to find out in another episode! Whoa! So I get sprayed with Ultra Bitter Spray, and I'm like, oh, whatever, like, I didn't even really care about this game anyway. You know, it's not like I even liked Lemmings in the first place, it's just it's such a really dumb, stupid fucking game. You know, but whatever, you know, it just wasn't meant for me. I guess that's just how it is, you know? I mean, I don't care, I don't care. And then the spray wears off, and you're like, oh my god, what was I doing? What have I become? <laughs> it wears off. Anyway, you know, not that bad. 7 out of 10. <laughs> a 7 out of 10. You, you might still... there. There's lingering effects with this little bitter potion here. 7.5. <laughs> Jeez, IGN, get off the bitter potion, why don't you? Do you think that's ever been used as an insult, calling somebody IGN? It is now. Those of you in the audience who think Pikmin 2 isn't that good, you're just being an IGN. Let's be honest here. I'd rather be an IGN than an X-Play. You heard they wanted to bring back X-Play, right? <laughs> no, Adam Sessler. You're done. <laughs> oh, well, they were gonna hire, like, different hosts and everything, but, uh, it, it didn't... 
I don't think anything came of that, honestly. I, I give that moronic idea a one out, out of five. five. I don't think they ever gave out zeros, did they? If they did, you know it was because they were being truthful and honest and not being overreactive on anything anyway whatsoever. I'd like to think that if Ride to Hell Retribution came out during the time that they were reviewing games, they would probably give it a four. It would have ended them. <laughs> well, you know that they gave the reason that a lot of other critics used, and they're like, you have to see this shit. They would have given Last of Us 2 a five out of five and spent months afterwards just bashing the crap out of it. They take a look over at a sack of cash that says Last of Us 2, 5 out of 5, and they're like, Okay, I think we know what to rate this one. Oh shit, we're the perennial manager now. Sweet! Oh great, we've reached upper middle management over a pile of dirt. Hey, being able to tell these worker ants where that pile of dirt goes, it's it's a little bit of power, but it's still power. I can use this. Can we start, like, a board of directors so that way I can be made CEO now? Because I imagine our investors would not be very happy with, uh, A, the CEO who lost everything is still in power, B, the guy who messed everything up is still on active duty, and C, you have a capable employee who is ready to take on the rent. You know, we need to do some restructuring here. Well, I'd just like to think the board of directors come comes down and sees all of these promotions that one guy is getting in an establishment that only has three employees, one of them being the president. It's like, uh, why did you upgrade Olimar to basically a general? He's just really good. There's something about him. The way he's paying off my debts. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Excuse me, debts? Have you been to Wall Street lately? <laughs> Put it all on GameStop, quick. <laughs> 